Get ready to have your assumptions about electric vehicle batteries completely tested. We're about to reveal a revolutionary finding, an ultra-high-mile Tesla that's exceeding predictions and demonstrating that EV batteries are more durable than you could have ever dreamed. However, how is that even possible? What mysteries reside within this technological marvel, and what does it portend for the advancement of electric transportation in the future? Come along as we explore the mysteries of the longevity of electric vehicles and learn why this Tesla's odometer isn't just counting down, it's also changing the rules of the road. Are you prepared to reconsider the limits of what electric cars can accomplish? The future of the auto industry may depend on one letter, R. In other words, the difference between lithium-ion batteries, like those in Tesla, and other electric vehicles and lithium-iron phosphate batteries coming soon. As Elon Musk's Tesla promotes new battery technology ahead of its first battery day for investors, Wall Street is anticipating the impact of the next generation. Lithium-iron phosphate and other chemistries will replace lithium-ion batteries in vehicles and trucks in the next years. This will reduce expenses, increase car ranges to 400 miles or more between charges, and extend battery life to 1 million miles. Musk told employees on Monday that breaking even will be difficult and that reducing Tesla's costs and promoting EV adoption are top priorities. The new technology will transform car ownership, whether from Tesla or rivals like GM, which is developing new battery technologies according to analysts. In particular, the extraordinarily long life of soon-to-be-released batteries may allow them to be resold when automobile owners trade in their cars, maybe for solar power storage. Next-generation batteries may be employed in ride-sharing companies that need automobiles that can withstand mere constant use. If you're talking about batteries that can last twice as long for the same price, it completely changes the math for the consumer, says Wedbush Securities analyst Dan Ives. Iron phosphate batteries are safer and can last for multiple uses as electricity storage. Musk suggested Battery Day may be in September, the month and day Tesla moved out its annual shareholder meeting. June was the original date for both events. Musk stated on the company's first quarter earnings call, We want to leave the exciting news for that day, but there will be a lot of exciting news to tell. I think it would be one of Tesla's most exciting days. The corporation did not respond to inquiries. The Tesla technical advisor, Dalhousie University professor Jeff Don, a battery and energy storage expert with a Tesla research grant, declined comment. Shirley Meng, a materials scientist and professor at UC San Diego who runs the Sustainable Power and Energy Center, said Tesla has made significant cobalt reduction progress with Don's help. Meng added a benefit of cobalt batteries is how easily complicated chemical structures can be created. Cobalt makes teaching a high school student to construct a battery easy and always works. Without cobalt, synthesis becomes more complex, she said. Due to its energy density, lithium iron phosphate was originally designed for grid storage but has never worked well in electric cars. Because it doesn't need cobalt, its chemistry is fast charging and cost effective. Meng, who has worked on battery chemistry and development with Mercedes-Benz, GM, Nissan, and Maxwell Technologies, Tesla's 2019 acquisition, said battery experts are curious about Tesla's breakthrough and believe the company could raise the profile of lithium iron phosphate in the EV market. The 2012 Fisker Karma, an early failed EV challenger from Fisker Automotive, used battery tech to go from energy storage to cars. I truly believe Tesla is planning to bring this back, Meng remarked. Lithium iron phosphate batteries do not require cobalt, a rare and expensive metal that drives up electric vehicle battery prices, CFRA research analyst Garrett Nelson said. Cobalt prices fell from $95,000 per ton in 2018 to $30,000 this year during the global economic slowdown but it remains crucial to lowering battery costs. Cobalt is by far the most expensive element in a lithium-ion battery, Nelson added. James Frith, head of energy storage at Bloomberg New Energy Finance in London, said that Canon Cobalt is one of the main factors in lowering battery prices below $100 slash coal, which is an approximate proxy for getting electric vehicles as inexpensive as internal combustion engine vehicles. He said batteries now cost $147 slash coal, down from $1,000 in 2010 and $381 in 2015. Tesla inked a long-term cobalt supply agreement with Glencore for its Shanghai and Berlin battery operations. Cobalt, which Tesla and Apple need for phone batteries, has long been a commodity challenge for major technological companies. Miners are racing to collect minerals from the ocean below. Cobalt is also a politically delicate topic, with some of the largest supply coming from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where Apple, Tesla, Google, and others were sued for dangerous child labor and mining. Because the price differential between cobalt and nickel has shrunk in recent years, Meng warned that decreasing cobalt alone can only improve prices so much. Tesla uses NCA, nickel cobalt aluminum oxide. EV batteries. Most automakers use NMC, nickel manganese cobalt batteries. 
Cobalt decreases alone cannot drive continued price adjustments because nickel is fundamental to both approaches. Meng sent current nickel cobalt chemistry will make it impossible to achieve below $100 per kilowatt. Tesla learned they can't eliminate cobalt. She claimed existing battery technology, including NNC, can approach the million mile mark, but not cost effectively with present nickel ratios. Nickel costs one third to one half as much as cobalt. Lab studies suggest lithium iron phosphate, which does not require nickel or cobalt, might lower prices to $80 slash ka. Ives claimed the new chemistries might lower EV battery prices to $60, $80 slash ka. Fritz said Bloomberg NEF anticipates prices to reach $100 by 2023 or 2024 and $60 by 2030. At that point, you have choices either as an automaker or a consumer, Frith added. A larger battery will last longer between charges. Consider purchasing a battery tuned for a longer lifespan. Among Tesla's emerging suppliers is CATL, a Chinese battery firm also collaborating with Volkswagen. The chairman of CATL told Bloomberg that the company can build batteries that last 16 years or 1.2 million miles. In June, a Chinese government ministry approved Tesla's lithium iron phosphate battery Model 3 manufacturer. Despite no public disclosure regarding the battery source, Ives believes CATL batteries help Tesla make Model 3 cars cheaper for China than the US. Other automakers are developing batteries, but they are not eliminating cobalt. GM batteries now have 4.5% cobalt, down from 18%, with additional manganese, nickel, and aluminum making up the difference. While reducing battery cobalt is not as revolutionary as lithium iron phosphate, both efforts required decades of development and Meng said GM is thinking about what it can achieve in the next several years. Andy Uri, GM's principal architect for EV batteries, told an investor conference in March that the cobalt decrease will allow GM to cross $100 slash coal while enabling flexible production to better customize batteries to cars, trucks, and SUVs. We are nowhere near the bottom of the battery cost curve, Uri remarked. Breaking $100 slash coal might cause major changes. Bloomberg's Frith noted that electric vehicles, which have attained parity with gasoline-powered cars and SUVs in some luxury niche niches, could match internal combustion engines by 2023. I've said EVs may become more useful as their ranges increase and a better value proposition because their batteries live longer than the cars they are sold with and can be resold for domestic solar power storage. The most radical theory is that these batteries may revolutionize automobile ownership by turning them into robo-taxis that go significantly faster than personal-use vehicles, which GM CEO Mary Barra supported in March. Brett Smith, head of technology at the Center for Automotive Research in Ann Arbor, Michigan, said that proposal and others are probably unrealistic. Smith said software developments are more important than battery life for the robo-taxi business, which Musk has described as Tesla's long-term ambition and Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas as the bull case for Tesla shares. He claimed rototaxes will only reduce car ownership when technologies to avoid pedestrians function at scale. He stated there are many challenges to get there. It would be amazing if it works, but it's still far off. Autox launches to self-driving robotaxis in Shanghai's ride-hailing business. Smith also claimed the batteries may not affect common drivers' range as much as bulls think. Like Frith, he adds that even developing chemistries lose range in cold weather when the car heater is used heavily. Smith said the larger batteries will likely improve consumer impressions of EV reliability and make buying one seem less exotic, raising EV's 2% share of the 2019 new vehicle market. Hyundai's mid-2000s market share move of offering 100,000-mile warranties on new cars may be similar. In 2005, Americans bought roughly 50% more Hyundais than in 2002, and the brand doubled its market share by 2011. He believes the million-mile battery might alleviate concerns about EV range and cost, similar to how extensive warranties helped Hyundai overcome its reputation for poor quality control. It's going to signal beyond any doubt that the technology has arrived, Smith added. That's what Hyundai did. Scientists under-promise and over-deliver, unlike corporate executives, Meng said. I see many breakthroughs, and we are ahead several steps. Meng said we have a roadmap. CEOs believe they can scale, she said. We may not be there yet. Meng said lab tests are showing that long-lasting batteries are conceivable and next-generation battery technology can reach a million miles in five years. That would transform EVs and the energy grid storage business, which lithium iron phosphate technology was developed for. A substantial production increase with lower costs in both markets. We don't want to overpromise and disappoint, but it's realistic, she said. I hope we reach it before 2025. Lithium iron phosphate and its upgrades will transform large-scale energy storage and EVs. 
Want to stay charged with the latest updates on electric vehicle breakthroughs? Hit subscribe now and join us on the electrifying journey towards a sustainable future.